So to visit our website, you can type in acadsystem.com, A-C-A-D-S-Y-S-T-M-S.com to visit our website. You can see there are a lot of tabs here to let you explore our company. When you scroll down, there's a short description about us. So we are Autodesk Go Partner and Authorized Training Center. We not only provide the software, but also the quality training. Okay, so when you scroll down, you can see our latest Autodesk promotions and news. For this trade-in promotion, you can trade in your perpetual license, which can save up to 20% on the Autodesk suggested retail price and upgrade the maintenance plan to subscription plan. While for this Autodesk news, Autodesk has retired the Inventor LT and Inventor LT suits. So feel free to contact us if you wish to know the alternatives. You also can click inside for the detailed information. So when you scroll down, you can see there's a contact for Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur branch and this contact is for Penang branch. You can feel free to contact us if you wish to, if you wish to talk to us. So when you scroll down, you can see there's a latest Autodesk online lessons. So this is today's lesson of Convert AutoCAD 3D to 3D. While we also have Create Custom Beam, Interior Components, Inventor Basics in 30 Minutes, Tips and Tricks Inventor Automation Modeling, AutoCAD Problems and Solutions. So if you wish to join us, you can click inside the lessons and then click going submit your detail click finish then a ticket will be emailed to you soon let's head to our lessons for today today we'll be learning how to create a 3d solid and surface using various tools and edit the objects using tools such as union, subtract, intersect, fillet, and so on. We also will use, uh, use some examples to apply what we learn later. This is a summary that we, the features that we will learn later for 3D solid, 3D surface, and also edit tools. Now we will launch AutoCAD 2021. This is what we will be using for these online lessons. First thing we're going to do is set up a workplace. By clicking this area, this will drop down area to set your workplace. Click workspace. Then you can choose either you want 3D basics or 3D modeling or graphic annotation. You also can choose it at the right bottom this gear icon. You also can change it here. All right. Today we'll be using 3D modeling. Then you get different series of tabs. Got solid, surface, surface, mesh. Okay. Now you can see there's a link here. You can download the file by typing this link into the browser and then download the drawing so that we can learn together. You can type from A360 until the 7th. Then you can visit the websites and download the, download the drawing. Right. So let us start with press pull. You can click this press pull. If you have an existing solid, and as you can see, when you click press pull, you can see I'm hovering over the faces, and you can click it to extrude the surface further, or you can push it back.
So this is how the press pool works. For extrude, let's say we draw a rectangle here, circle. So when we click extrude, click, select the objects, and then enter. You can type the value of the height. For example, I will type 5. Or you can click the object and then select the grid. Either you want to move higher or shorter. There's another way. You can click and then go to properties. You can change the height here. For example, I will change to 10. So you can see the height is already changed. Now maybe some of you are curious, like uh, what's the difference between extrude command and press pull command? Now I will give some example here. For press pull, when I click, While the extrude so you can see the difference that press press pull we can create a hole in the middle while extrude we cannot. So the difference is the extrude commands allow you to create a solid objects from circles, polygons, and objects created from or converted to polylines that have closed path. While the press pull command will enable you to extrude an element from any enclosed boundary between lines that are not necessarily a closed polyline. So this is a quick and easy way to create an extruded shape from a closed boundary. So I'll delete this first. Now we move on to revolve. This red polygon is represented as the sectional view of the object. Now select the object. Oh, so you need to click remove first. And then select object. Click enter. And it, it asks for the axis where you like to revolve. So I would like to revolve along here. Start from the bottom to the top. You can see that you now can revolve it. You can choose to revolve to the angle that you want. Let's say I'll put 180. At the properties here, you also can change your angle of revolution. I'll change to 360. Enter. So this is how the revolve works. Now move on to sweep. Click sweep. It will ask you to select the object. So I will select this circle and then click enter. I want to sweep the circle along this polyline which looks like a paper clip. Then you they will ask you to pick the path. You click the pick the path, then click this polyline. So you can see the results of the sweep command. Now let us move to loft. Click this drop down and then click loft. Then I will click this different size of circles. Click enter twice. And you can see the shape is a bit different. Now same goes to this. Enter. You also can do it with different orders. Let's see, I will do it start from 
this small surfaces. And then click this and then click this. Enter. Okay, what we are creating here is like a cone shape. So different orders will produce different outcome. Now we move to thicken. We have a surface planner here. Then you can click thicken. Click, enter, and then insert the thickness. For example, 2. So this is how the thicken works. And the thickens is only can work in planner. Now we move to surface shapes. And then click this surface. So what's the difference between the solid and surface just now? Solid models can intersect, join, and subtract objects from one another to create the desired results as far as shape and form. While this surface modeling focuses more on the external aspects of an object, it develops an object by stretching the surface over it with 3D curves created by the designer. So this drawing also has the links. You can type in this and download the file. Okay. We will start with network. Click network. You can create some cool to read like objects with this command. So you can see we have numbers or sequence here, the order of the objects that need to be selected. So they will say select curves or surface edges in first direction. I will select one, two, three, click enter, and then Select for the second direction. Four, five, and third. So we created a nice fluid object. Now we move to sweep. Click sweep. Select objects. Click enter. And then select the sweep path. It's almost similar with the solid objects, but what's the difference is you can see it is hollow here because it only apply for the surface. Not only circle, you also can apply for different shapes. For example, I'll make it a rectangle shape. And then click sweep, select objects, click enter. And select the sweep path. Now you can see there's a rectangle shape. Right now, move to planner. We click this planner. Then on the command line, you can see there's a object. So we click object and then select. Then enter. Now you can see the sur surface planner is created. And now we can use what I said just now. We can use thicken for this planner. Insert the thickness, for example, 5. So you can create a planner with surface and then click solid to thicken. Now the extrude is also same like the solid object. What's the difference is just only the surface. You can see there's a hole here. Now we will move on to editing 3D objects back to the first drawing. Click this solid tab and then you can see there's a union, subtract, intersect. And then the icon for this is actually same with what is uh, 
same with its function. You can see union, meaning is join the object together. So click union and then select two red sphere and then click enter. So now when you select this object, you can see both objects have been highlighted, meaning they are joined together. Next is subtract. We click subtract and then select the first object. Click enter. Select the second object. Then click enter. Now you can see the subtract commands already subtract one object from another. Now you can see there's an uneven hole here. Next is intersect. Click intersect, select objects, then enter. So there's a small piece which the intersect of the two spheres is now. Next one is fillet. We click fillet and then click the edge. Now you can select radius by clicking this radius. And then I will make it to two. Enter and then click enter. So this is how we create the fillet. Same goes to chamfer. Click this drop down, click chamfer, and then select the edge. We also can set the distance by clicking this. And then I will set to 4, enter. Now our chamfer is created. So let's say you want to extract the face the faces of one object you can click extrude select objects and then click the control key and select the face then you can click enter now you can extrude higher for the objects okay now we will be doing some examples to apply what we learned just now. So we use this drop box. There's a link here too, seems like just now you can type in and then download the drawing file. So this is a new box. I will change the layer to drop box first. There's a question from Adnan Yusof. Is it actual phrase equal to press proof? That's what we done. So I saw the explain just now. They are similar, but there's a limited function that maybe actual cannot do. So I just now got give an example like this one. So press pull, we can select the boundary while the extrude, we only can create a solid object like this. So they are similar, but there's a limited function that press pull have while extrude don't have. So it depends on what you want to draw, and then you can use either press pull or also extrude. So back to our drop box. We can use either sweep or also extrude.
Right, so there's also another difference between press pull and extrude, which is when you click extrude and then you click this object, enter. You can see there's a different options down here, either it's direction, path, type of angle or expression, which press pull don't have. So it depends on what you, what you want to draw. For example, I can use path and then I will select this. I can create this drop box. Then you can click extrude, select the blue box, extrude to this point. Okay, then same extrude also. Click this green color line, extrude to this point. Then we can change our visuals to 3D wireframe if there's a invisible box or line inside. So when you change to 2D wireframe, then you can select the box inside. Now we need to extract this box. We can click extrude, select this white box, click enter. Okay, now we'll be using the Subtract command, click, select first object, click enter, and then select the second object, click enter. So now you can see there's already subtract. Let us change to shaded view. You can see we have a similar mailbox like the example. Now we can copy. from the point to the point. So this is one of the examples. The second examples we will be using the copy mark by using the revolve command. So we click this revolve, select the objects, enter, and then select the axis from bottom to top. We want select objects. Enter. Q60. Maybe we'll try using the surface reward. Select objects. We walk and then three six zero. Then we change to two D wireframe. We click sweep, select objects, enter, and then select the sweep path. Now we change back to shaded. So we already create a mark, a copy mark by using the revolve and also the sweep command. So this is the third example. For creating these things, we can use Loft. 
then click select. And then click enter, enter. Now to create this stick, you can use either extrude with path or also swift. In this case, I will use extrude. And then select the objects. Enter. And then click path below here. Path. And then select this. For this rectangle, we can use extrude also, and also, also we can use press tool. We use for this one, we use five. So we already use um, love, extrude, press pull to create these objects. Right, so this is the lessons for today. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you wish to watch back the recording, you can back to our home okay. page. And then go to our footer section. Mm. Click this Facebook icon to visit our Facebook page. Then you can see our recording here. Same goes to YouTube icon to visit our YouTube channel. And then you can watch the recording. So before I end this section, let me launch a poll to share with me your experience. Oops, I'm sorry, sorry for the technical issues. Uh, I'm not able to launch the poll now. So lessons for today. This is the lessons for today and thank you for joining. Thank you, Tong. Thank you, Ada. Thank you, Adnam. Thank you, Daniel. See you next time, Hendra. Nora Zila. Thank you, Surrender. Thank you, Nizam. Thank you, Ting, and thank you, Abli. Stay safe and see you next time. Bye bye.